Chairman Rendon has conducted uh, numerous water bond hearings up and down the state, and the point uh, for, of conducting all of these is to gather community input on what should be in a water bond. And I think it's important to note that as we the, in the Assembly and in the Senate uh, look to renegotiate uh, what the water bond package could look like, uh, we need to make sure that we have a water bond that reflects the needs of all of our communities across the state. So today is important for our communities, important for the Central Valley to really express uh, the issues that we are most concerned about um, and the needs that we must, um, that we need to have met. Uh, as Mr. Rendon uh, noted, I've been a strong supporter of storage and increased storage, both surface, both, both surface storage and below ground storage. And so I think we're going to have an opportunity today to discuss um, why storage is so important and, and why it's so critical to meet the needs of, of not only our east side, uh, but also our west side, both for our cities and for our counties, as well as our, our farmers. We know that 2013 closed out the driest year ever recorded, and there are 17 towns and water districts that could run out of water within 100 days uh, if nothing is done. Recently, the governor and our leadership and the Assembly and the Senate have announced a, a drought relief package, which I believe will be important to deal with some short-term uh, crises that we're dealing with. But today, we're here to focus on the long term. We're here to focus on what the state needs to do to make sure that we're not managing our water by crisis, uh, but that we're doing it with thoughtful, long-term planning that meets everybody's needs, whether it's for cities and farmers, or making sure that we have money for clean drinking water for many of our disadvantaged communities and ensuring that we have solid conveyance and making sure that we have a healthy uh, delta system that can convey that water uh, to many of us here in the Central Valley. So I'm pleased to be a part of today's hearing. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you for being here and I look forward to hearing from the testimony from, from all of my colleagues, um, from our panelists, as well as from members of the public. So thank you very much.